Welcome to my wading Lake Taney Como fly fishing video where you can't wade because they're running 5,000 cubic feet of water per second. That's a lot of water. I almost forgot. A cold front moved in and it's cold and rainy. So what do you do in Branson when they're releasing too much water and you can't wade and fly fish like you were planning? Should we stay inside all day, watch TV, put on our pajamas, and play with our awesome toys that we bought at the souvenir store? We could go to a fly shop and complain about the weather and buy some flies that we'll probably never use. Should we go looking for wildlife like majestic white-tailed deer? Maybe we brush up on our free throws. Take two. Maybe we brush up on our free throws. We could go swinging. Or you could stand around with old people and have, have conversations about how many people are in a boat. You could troll people on social media. Oh, they're going to hate this. <laughs> Share. Uh, I think it's probably for work. Five. Huh. Wait, they wrote what about me? Maybe you should count them again. You can hug your dad. <laughs> Always nice to be hugged by your son. <laughs> or we could lay in bed, stare at the ceiling, and slip slowly into madness. You could trim your beard. Or not. You could watch people while they sleep. Or we can make the best of a bad situation. We can't wait. We can't go on on a boat because I don't have a boat. But what we do have is we have a dock here at Lily's Landing, the place we're staying. We've got an ultralight. And we've got a river rig. I'll now show you how to make a river rig. Improved clinch knot. Non-slip loop. Improved clinch knot. River rig. So you put that on a snap swivel. Bounce along the bottom. Have your weight or your bait tra travel downstream. It's not fly fishing. It's not the most exciting thing you've ever done. But it's fishing. I came here to fish. So let's go fishing. Let's see if we can get this to catch us a few fish. We've already caught a few. Just a few, st a few stalkers. But it's better than nothing. When you're bottom bouncing, one of the most important things you can understand is that you're going to be bouncing on the bottom. And bouncing on the bottom feels like a bite. A bite just feels different. You can use power bait. Gulp. Bike crawlers, corn, there's a lot of options. You want to get out there in the current. If you got an idea where the fish might be, you want to get out there. You're going to bounce along the bottom. See if you can watch my rod tip bounce along the bottom. It's going to look like a bite. It's going to feel like a bite. It's not a bite. It's just bouncing on the bottom of the lake. See my rod tip going crazy. It's just bouncing on the bottom. It takes some getting used to. It's just bouncing on the bottom. Bouncing on the bottom. Oh, oh, oh. Bouncing on the bottom. Is that one? Nope. Bouncing on the bottom. Is that a bite? Nope. That's rain. And bouncing on the bottom. You, you get the idea. See, I thought I had a fish. You know what it was? Bouncing on the bottom. Hey, if you're not setting the hook when you shouldn't, and if you're not losing gear, you're not bouncing on the bottom. Don't be surprised if people ask you, what are you doing? You say, I'm bouncing on the bottom. Don't go crazy. I won't go crazy, Dad. You feel it? Yeah. Uh, hey, hey, slow down, slow down. It's only no. two pound line. Oh, no. So it must be two pounds. <laughs> There he is. Okay, slow down. Slow down. Hold on. Okay, guys. Yeah, there's uh, one, I guess. Oh. And I can't get him still. That's all right. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. I caught him bottom bouncing. 
Now it's time for you to go back in the no. wild. Hey, nice and easy. That is not nice or easy. Like I said, bottom bouncing catches fish. Somebody yeah. asks, hey, what are you doing? Just say bottom bouncing. Catching whoppers like what you're about to see. And by whoppers, I mean stalkers. Which brings me to my next point, bringing that. Even the small ones need that. You're about to see some hilarious outtakes and footage of me needing a net. Okay, Can you see okay? Okay, guys, so my dad, so my dad just got a fish. I don't know, Dad, what do you think it is? Small. That's what I think it is. Oh, look at that thing. Dad, I mean, <laughs> no. Did you get that on video? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Bottom bouncing. Bottom bouncing? Bottom bouncing. Here's another piece of advice. Make sure you have a good system to keep your fish that you catch if you are catching and keeping. Because I just fed an, uh, a family of otters a limit. <laughs> family otters ate my fish. It's a bummer. Otters definitely got your fish there. So there you have it. Things didn't go as planned, but we adjusted, we adapted. Still had a good time. Put some fish on the end of the line. Had fun. Uh, please like and subscribe. All those are always appreciated. Thank you very much. And get out on the water. Catch some fish. And if things don't go the way you wanted them to, make some changes. You'll still have fun. You'll still catch fish. At least that's the idea. I can't promise you'll do that. You maybe you won't. Oh, that's a long time. Why did we do this in the first place? Okay guys, so here's the dad of the show me fly guy. I'm the dad of the show me fly guy. Of course you are. You're the fly grandpa, I guess. Yep. Dad, what do you have to say about yourself for the fish getting off? That's my fault. I should have netted it. <laughs> I knew you should have brought on a net. <laughs> yeah, that'll be on the blooper reel. <laughs> Seriously, comment down in the section in the comment section down below what do you know about water seriously what do you know about water so you guys better like it you're gonna threaten our viewers no i'm not gonna, gonna threaten them well, you just threatened them i said you better you, you better, better do it. or what what are you gonna do